right side, dummy through Adams. It's been a big season for the San Diego Loyal Soccer Club with major success both on and off the field. Joining me right now is Andrew Vasilidis, uh, the chairman of the San Diego Loyal, to we'll talk more about that and the historic signing of a 15-year-old. Andrew, thank you for joining us today. Did I mess that up? Vasilidis. Vasiliadis. Vasiliadis. I said it you right. Got, you did. I, I didn't want to bring that up. You got it right. <laughs> I guess it was a name like Chiquetto. You know, we were talking about that, that earlier. I apologize. But we have a lot to talk about. Big season for you. Tell our, our, our viewers how the season is going on the field because I know it's been a big one. Yeah, it's been great. We are second in the West right now, uh, which has been incredible. We made an investment uh, to make the squad even better this year, and it's showing on the field. Um, so we are one win or draw away from locking up a home playoff game, which would be huge, but we are guaranteed at least the playoffs at this point. How many more games in the regular season? Uh, we've got four more games in the regular season, one of them at home. So four chances to get one win for a home playoff game. Yeah. I like those odds for you guys. And so the on-the-field product, I had the chance to go to a game, a couple of games earlier this season, like I said. How many people tell you they're surprised at how good the level of play is? Uh, it happens often. Um, it's It was surprising for me. You know, once joining the league and, and investing the way I did, you really find out quickly how high the level is here. And one of the things you do as a club, it's not just the product on the field. You're developing players, and you have an exciting development on that front. Uh, tell us about the 15-year-old local boy you just signed. Yeah, and I think this is probably what I'm most passionate about with this club is providing a pathway to pro for the kids in our community. I grew up here, I was definitely not at the same level that Duran is at, but to now say that these kids can stay in San Diego and become professional soccer players is huge. And to have Duran be the first to do it is tremendous. So he came up through a development program that you have before you signed him to the team? Yeah, so he's been with Surf Soccer Club uh, where he went through his youth development and then last year joined Loyal Select uh, which is our youth program that we have right now as we start to build a full academy program in the future. And a pathway to potentially a big professional career for him. We're going to yes. be watching him a lot all along the way. So you have the development, you have the on-the-field product, but you're also really, you're a native San Diegan, as you yeah. said, you're working on entrenching yourself here in the community as well. You have a lot of community outreach programs, uh, including an interesting one right now with Rady Children's Hospital. Yeah, so we've created the scarf uh, for for this year says, life is tough, but so am I. Um, I love it. We gave kids who are going through treatment at Rady's the opportunity to create their own scarf, and this one's for you, by the way. I love it. Um, and Xavier blew us away with this design. This is all him. We did not touch it whatsoever. Um, but it's just another way that we can touch our community um, outside of the game of soccer. Who's Xavier? That, that Xavier is the, the child who was receiving treatment um, at Rady. He's not a San Diego local. He okay. was actually vacationing here from Texas and unfortunately um, had, had some of his uh, symptoms come back and so received treatment at Rady. And while he was there, he drew this scarf for us. Um, beautiful sentiment, beautiful yeah, product. And 100% of the proceeds seeds go to Rady Children's Hospital. And a beautiful game and a beautiful season for you, Andrew Basiliadis. Yeah. Uh, congratulations on the season so far. What do you want to tell people about coming out to check out a future game in person? Uh, we've got one more home match coming up. I'm really excited. People don't know it, but they're going to see our team in a brand new jersey that they haven't seen before. All right. Uh, so that's a tease for that. And then coming up after that will be a home playoff game, hopefully. So we need to pack the house and make it loud for our team. And, and I've already said this. I do genuinely love the swag. I have a loyal cap, a couple of <laughs> jerseys. I have my own scarf now. I have two. Congratulations on all that. Look forward to seeing you guys succeed in the playoffs. Thank you so much for having me. And in the stands. Yeah.